right guys, in the last period of time I receive a lot of requests from you to review the new Ford S-Max and today I have with me the new, kind of the new S-Max S-Line. This is one of my favorite family car to be honest and no wonder why so many people ask for review, ask for test drive, ask for all the information about this Ford S-Max. Actually this is the facelift version, it's the last version, that's why I will call it the new Ford S-Max because it's the latest version and the car is brand new. It was also built in 2021. So yeah, it's the new Ford S-Max. But I'm looking really forward to see the new version with the new multimedia system and with the new improvement stuff. But yeah, today we will review it guys. And in my opinion, this is one of the best family car that you can buy it today on the market. Best MPV. Uh, also, there are a few competitors there uh, like Seat, Al Humbra or Volkswagen Charan but this one it's much much better quality in my opinion you will see in the video as we go in the video you will see we will go inside in the interior exterior I will try to show you all the details but you will see what I'm talking about because this is a proper premium interior like a premium top class car and in my opinion it's gorgeous also as you drive it it's awesome yeah guys let me give you the technical data we will go inside I will give you the technical data and then we will make the review interior exterior Exterior in this video I will show you all the detailed price and stuff like that so yeah if you're new on my channel by the way click the subscribe button to see all the new videos that come on my channel also if you want to see the test drive if you want to see all the infos with this new S Max will come soon on my channel so yeah just click the subscribe to see the notification until then guys uh, I will leave also the link to the car in the description if you want to buy it if you want to check it out if you are in Switzerland around Switzerland I will leave the link in the description to Tehash Wheelie where you can buy it where you can test the car uh, right here so yeah anyway guys let me give you the technical data and then we will start with a review so let's do it all right guys so here we are inside the car now I will give you the technical data and then we will start the review first of all as I said before I have right here with me the Ford S Max ST line uh, it's a four-wheel drive car so all-wheel drive also it comes with a two liter diesel engine 190 horsepower and 400 newton meter also guys it's a proper actually for a family car it's a proper choice to get the diesel version it's a big car it's a heavy car uh, you can fit in a lot of stuff so it's better the, the best way to go is to go with a diesel engine because you will have a gorgeous consumption actually one of my friends have this car and it tell me that it has amazing consumption with the car and it's super happy with the car and I actually believe it I just drive actually Actually half of kilometer the car and I have to tell you that the feeling on driving it's amazing I mean it feels so premium the position in the seats the visibility the steering wheel and the way it moves the car it feels perfect I mean I like the car very much now let me give you the other details I know you're interested in the price actually here in Switzerland at Tehash Willy guys final price of this version that I have it with me it's 57,350 francs but actually this new price of this car it's 63,050 francs they have a big discount it has 5,700 francs discount so if you live in Switzerland or around Switzerland uh, totally check them out Tehash Willy I will leave the link in the description so the final price at least here in Switzerland I know here the price are a little bit bigger but yeah it is what it is 57,000 francs the car come of course with full package this is the full option that you can get it so it comes with the business package 3,000 francs extra metallic color 900 it comes with a hook in the back so you can pull out your uh, caravan or uh, trailer 1,250 extra and then it comes also with electric seats so you have electric seats for you and the passenger and for those you have to pay 1,350 francs so this is the price of course it has a lot of options that I will show you in this video we will go together and we will see all that options it's super powerful you can pull out a lot of a trailer caravan with the car without any problem and also you can carry many people or many stuff inside the car so the car have plenty of power four cylinders in line the space in the back in the trunk you have 965 liters with the third row folding down because it's a seven-seater car 
and if you fold down all the seats in the back you will have 2020 liter incredible spacious stay with me until the end you will see how much space you have in this car it comes with the eight speed automatic transmission uh, and it's really good i mean i tested before i drive it before and it's gorgeous so the transmission automatic transmission is the way you should go also with this car so now guys 0 to 100 9.9 .9 seconds maximum speed 206 kilometers in the front suspension it comes with independent suspension mcpherson with stabilizer and also in the back it comes with independent suspension ventilated brake discs in the front and brake discs in the back also let's go review the car and then we will make the conclusion in the end so yeah let's do it guys all right guys so first of all i want to show you the key this is the key pretty simple nothing fancy ford logo and also here you have the buttons to lock and unlock the car uh, also by the way keep in mind that the car come with electronic folding mirrors so when you lock the car and unlock it the mirrors will fold in also you can leave your key in your pocket like that and then if you see those lines here when you put your finger right here you can see you can lock and unlock the car by having your hands right here so you don't have to always press that uh, button on the key so that's a great great feature let's go around the car guys so we can see the car a little bit better uh, the shape the design it's beautiful i mean for a family car the design of the car it's pretty beautiful a nice line super sporty aerodynamic also the rims fit with the car just perfectly i like very much the way it looks the car i don't know about you but for me it is a nice car it looks from the front a little bit like Ford Fiesta and also Ford Focus, but it's nice, sporty, beautiful exterior color. It's just my opinion. And also with those 18 inch rims, the car looks super sporty, super nice. Anyway, this is the ST line version. So they add a little bit of elements of sporty elements to the car. For example, uh, this air diffuser down here in glossy black. The roof spoiler looks super spectacular. Uh, also down here, the skirt down here look also very nice and sporty. Uh, also you have the SD line logo here on the side uh, and also the front bumper down here. It's much more uh, sexy and spectacular. And even the front grille is in glossy plastic uh, when the, the normal version, it's a little bit different guys. So yeah, keep this in mind. Now let's start with the lights and then we will go forward from here. So, uh, first of all, I want to tell you that look at the turning signals. You have kind of a following turning signals. They look super nice. Uh, LED lights, uh, high beam, low beam. So you can see from here, very simple. Kind of the, I, I can say the last technology of LED lights, but still between the latest and the light uh, in the nighttime, it's just perfect. Even the fog lamps down here, guys, are LED lights. So keep in mind, no bulb light here on the lights. So yeah, pretty nice. You can see it also from here, the way it looks. Let's go forward on the mirror. Pretty nice big mirror. Uh, it's in the same color as the car. Here you don't have LED lights. I don't know why they chose to do that. It's a little, little bulb light and I wish it was LED light. And under the mirror you have an LED light, small one. I don't know why they didn't put it also here on the mirror. Then you have a big mirror. I like it. Great visibility in the mirrors. No complaining about that. Also, you have blind spot technology in the corner right here. I think you can see it. And let's go in the back. Also here, you can see on the side, you have an LED, a small LED lights. So the people can see it also from this angle. Really interesting. And then if you go here all the way in the back, you will see that those uh, lines here, uh, the tail lights, it's LED, even the turning signal, it's LED, the brake lights are LED, uh, the, the reverse light is not LED, the reverse light, it's actually a normal bulb light, and uh, the fog lamps are also normal bulb light down here, so that's something to keep in mind. The lights on the number plate are also normal bulb light, uh, but you can, you can change it if you want, very simply but that's something to keep in mind for the future. The design also on the light in the back, it's quite nice. It looks good, quite modern design, uh, I should say. Here on the roof, I like very much uh, the radio antenna. It's nice, uh, it's modern, and it's the same color as the car. Also, one of my favorite part is this roof spoiler with those sharp edges line. Sporty, super aggressive roof spoiler, a little bit of glossy plastic on the side. Uh, overall, very nice, very spectacular roof spoiler. Now, the diesel tank is here on the driver's side, uh, and you have here the fuel, uh, 
uh, tank, the Easy Fuel. This is the new version of Easy Fuel. You just have to stick it in. You don't have to open something like that. So that's something that I like. And also the Add Blue, it's right here. So keep in mind, uh, it's super simple to add it on uh, later when you need it. So going forward in the back, some chrome design. S-Max -S logo here in the back. Quite, quite nice. I should say it looks really good. But what looks much better is this part down here on the bumper where also are six sensors. You can see it right here. Four sensors for the parking and those on the side are for blind spot technology. Down here you have also nice design, beautiful lines uh, on the bumper, on the down part. Uh, it's super sporty. I mean, uh, they did a great job with this area down here and you have this, those exhaust pipes and they are real guys. Look inside there, real exhaust pipes like a proper sporty car. I like that. And then this uh, air diffuser here, kind of a fake air diffuser, look really spectacular on the car. So you didn't expect to have on a family car this kind of bumper. I mean, look at this from this angle, you don't know what car it is. So other than that, this is the back of the car. In my opinion, pretty beautiful. Here around the windows, uh, you have kind of a rubber in black tinted windows on the side, also tinted windows in the back. Uh, it looks good like that, I like it. Also big windows, you will see when we go inside, you have plenty of, of space, plenty of good visibility from the interior. Also you have the possibility to lock and unlock the car from all four handles. So that's another cool feature that not all the car have. And other than that, glossy plastic between the windows, pretty nice. And another cool that things that I like is down here on the down skirt. Uh, also, they make it quite aerodynamic and quite sporty and this down skirt look really good on the car. And also you have some kind of plastic down here to protect the paint of the car and the body of the car. And this plastic, you can change it very easily. Even on the door, if you open the door, you can see that plastic stay on the door. If you hit something with the door, it's easy to replace it. Most of the time, you don't see that things that are smaller from inside the car and you open the door and you hit them. So. Maybe not you, maybe your kids or stuff like that. But anyway, you're safe with those plastics down there. So that's awesome. Now forward, all wheel drive logo on the boat side. So you know, this is the all wheel drive car, all wheel drive, this is awesome. You can see even here in the front, they add some kind of plastics here to protect this area, guys. Uh, because the tire will throw a lot of stones in this area. So you're good to go. You're protected from rust in time. Estee line logo also on the side here. Uh, beautiful design, I like it. And other than that, you can see in the front here, they kind of split this A-pillar uh, in, in two, the window, they split it in two. I drive the car before, not today. I drive the other, the simple model, and it didn't bother me. I mean, it's, it's, the visibility is quite good, so you don't have to worry about that. I will show you when you go inside as well. The car comes with 18-inch rims. It comes with ventilated brake discs. The thing is, you see those white things here? Those are some protection, plastic protection. You can see it. So they are not drum brakes, so don't worry about that. Uh, they are ventilated brake discs inside, but those plastic are protection uh, for the brakes. So I cannot take it out because uh, the car is brand, 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 brand new. So I just drive it a few meters until here so I can show you a little bit better outside. But you can see even in the back, it has the same protection, plastic protection. So those have to be get down only when the customer will take the car. So uh, this is the fourth recommendation. So yeah, anyway, there are a few things also inside I will show you when we go. So uh, in the front, uh, ventilated brake disc with red calipers, really beautiful. In the back also uh, brake discs with red calipers. So yeah, they are super sporty. They look, uh, they look really good. Anyway, up here on the windscreen, guys, we have a camera for lane assist, reading the traffic speed limit, all that safety features. And also you have that sensors for the light and raining. Uh, the hood of the car, the front is similar with Ford Focus uh, or Ford uh, Fiesta. And also you have this Ford logo here in the middle, some kind of nice lines, uh, pretty aerodynamic and uh, nice design. Also six sensors in the front. Four are for parking and those are for blind spot technology on the side. LED lights, uh, fog lamps, as you can see it, and also pretty beautiful, beautiful design on the bumper down here. Sporty design with some glossy plastic. I like the way it looks. Even the grill, I like it even more than the normal version. Glossy plastic, 
uh, in black look gorgeous. Also the car come with the front camera. You can see it right here. Also a reverse camera for parking. I will show you when we go inside. Uh, down here, air intakes. Air intakes to cool down the engine. And if I'm not wrong, right now you can see inside there, the car come with some clappers that are closed right now. So the engine is cold. So we need to be cooled down a little bit so you can see they are closed. But when the engine is very hot, they will open up. The air will go inside and we will leave more air to go to cool down the engine. Here in this area, right here, is the radar for adaptive cruise control, emergency brake and all that safety feature. It's right here on the right side. So you can see a little bit the difference between them so you will know it's there. Here in the front, let me open the hood. So here on the left side, you have a little bit of hook that you have to pull it and then open this up. It's a manual lift gate, keep in mind it's manually. And here is the engine, two liter, 190 horsepower, 400 Newton meters, diesel engine. Air filter is here on the right side with coolant and the liquids and stuff like that. Anyway, pretty nice. By the way, automatic lift gate here in the trunk. And something that I take out before we start the review, because it will be complicated to show you, is this protection. I don't know if you know it. This protection for the trunk, usually it should stay right here, just like that. You put it there and you pull it and you push it and stuff like that. You know what I mean? I just take it out to show you without it. Uh, the thing is that it's so big that you cannot put it under here or stuff like that. So even you leave it at home, uh, if you have seven passengers, for example, normally here those seats will come out I will uh, up I will show you in a second uh, or you or you take it with you uh, if you need that protection if you carry stuff here in the trunk but other than that it's a huge trunk huge trunk as I said one of the most spacious practical family car on the market today uh, why would you buy an SUV guys I don't know some people I don't understand they, they want an SUV of course they look good uh, better than this one maybe you have a taller position of driving but if you don't drive on on a very worse road and you need more space I think this one is much more practical anyway here's the button to close it handle uh, everybody can choose for him so I'm just saying here you have a protection for the trunk of course in combination with the other one it will kind of uh, stop the the things down there but other than that huge entrance in the car really really incredible big you have a flat floor here as you can see at the entrance some hooks uh, in a, almost every corner then here you have the buttons the possibility to fold down the seats from from those buttons here super simple press the button the seats will fold down then you have a 12 volt port here you have a light uh, you have even those this button for the hook as i said uh, you press it two times and then the hook will come automatic out. You don't have to do nothing. You just wait, it come out automatic. You don't have to even touch it. That's the great part. So that's something that I like very much. And then you press it two times again. You wait maybe 10 seconds and the hook will go in automatic. Just like that, boom. Great, nice features. Now, flat floor, good quality material down here. Uh, I like that and also under the floor you have some storage space kind of small one here and then you have those seats that you have to fold it uh, yourself actually you have to pull it from here and you f and you pull the, the seats outside I will show you in a second but first of all I want to show you uh, the way it looks like this huge huge space here in the trunk uh, it's incredible spacious so you have three individual seats that's amazing that means you can have free adult here without any problem and everybody will stay on his own uh, place this is incredible incredible it's also the fact that you can from down here adjust the seats the way you want it so let me show you just like that you can put it all the way in the front just like that and you will have much more space in the back uh, or yeah you can leave it in whatever position you want you can put it in the back in the front uh, and also you can adjust it from here so let me show you Okay, I will leave it just like that, free position. And then what we will do right now, what I wanna do is just fold, fold up uh, the seats in the back. So let me go with this one a little bit forward as well, just like that, so I can show you a little bit better. And now, yeah, but before that, before that, let me fold down the seats. 
Let me show you how it looks with the seats folding down. The great part when you fold those seats down is that the seat here, the down part, it will go even down, even lower. So you can see right here, it will go even lower. So in order to make a flat floor, completely flat floor, and that's just perfect. I mean, look at this. You pull this like that and that it will go all the way down. Actually, I put it too much in the front, but it should be all the way flat down. And the other side, the same story right here. You just pull this like that and it will go all the way down. That's incredible. Of course, you will not have so much space down here, maybe just a little bit, but yeah, it's crazy, crazy space here. Ah, yeah, of course you will have that space there. Let me show you. If you put it all over in the back, just like that, and now fold it, you still have some storage space here. So, yeah, pretty cool, pretty awesome, I like that. And then you have a flat floor, completely flat floor. You pull that all over in the back, and then you have a flat floor. It's incredible space, as I said before, lovely space. 2020 liters, guys, in this, in this array. So, if you array it like that, 2020 liter incredible spacious look at this you have a completely flat floor you can even sleep here it's impressive impressive i see that and i was really impressed from the first time when i see it let me put it in the front a little bit the other cool thing is that this one this part you can adjust it the way you want you can leave it straight you can put it all over on the back but you have you need two hands pull this one push it like that and now you have it all over on the back or you can have it wherever you want. So that, that's also a, another great feature. And you need always two hands and it's complicated to film in the same time, but you get the idea. I will fold it up a little bit. Uh, and then I wanna show you how much space it is in the back here. So in the back here, the, seven, the, the third row, you pull it like that, just like that guys. Super simple, a few seconds. Here is also the trunk, some kind of small part where you can put your stuff i think you can see it it's not bad at all to be honest in comparison with with other cars in this class it's, it's quite okay you can fit some stuff here and now if i go here all you can do is just from up here you pull this like that and the seat will go forward manually and you have some space here to go inside for me is no problem to show you how much space we have here so all right let me go here okay so you see before how i arrayed the seats so the seats you still have some storage space on the legs there and also this one you can put it even more in the back but actually i have two three fingers here maybe here a little bit more you can make an idea there the way it is it's not super comfy so don't expect but it's quite good to be honest four fingers here i have a cup holder here also some storage space like that good actually okay visibility i have this window i can stay also like this and it's not bad it's not bad i have also this headrest here you can put it up like that okay for short trips, maybe medium trips, I will be fine. Maybe maximum 200, 300 kilometers, but you have to stop a few times. Um, but other than that, the, the quality of the seats are great. And yeah, feel good, not bad, not bad. And I like those seats, guys. I mean, the quality of those seats is just impressive. It's a combination between leather, you can see the red stitches from ST line with this stuff material. I'm not sure if it's Alcantara or some kind of stuff, but it feels also good quality and it looks really, really nice. Gorgeous. Okay, let's go out. Uh, going outside, by the way, look at this. It's not bad at all. I can go pretty simple outside uh, and this one it's ah oh yeah look at this you can even you can even push it more I didn't know that so now right now I have even more space so I can go inside without any problem like this look inside outside so yeah gorgeous anyway look at this entrance in the car it's it's incredible big I mean entrance it's crazy you can open the door almost almost 90 degrees and you have such a big entrance in the car even here from the side I think you can fit in here a wash machine a fridge without any problem from this angle gorgeous anyway 
put this back like this. Something that I forget to show you uh, when you want to fold down those seats is that you have those buttons here. I just forget about that. Press those buttons just like that. Press the buttons, super simple, and the seats will fold down for you. Automatic, even the seats in the front, you can fold it down from here. You don't even have to go uh, in the front there. All you have to do is just press those buttons here on the side and all five seats will fold down for you. So how cool is that? Another premium feature uh, for the car that I like it very, very much, to be honest. So guys, this is the trunk. Uh, keep in mind a, a few key features. Huge space, great practicality. Uh, you see the space in the back as well. Uh, we will see how much space we have also on the second row. Keep in mind that you have the option on those buttons to fold down the seats, super simple. Uh, you have an LED light also here in the back. Uh, that's another cool feature. And yeah, that's it guys. Let me put the seats back. Let me put everything back. And then we will see how much space we have on the second row. And then we will go in the front. Uh, to review the front part. So let's do it. All right, guys, so I put everything back. As I said before, huge entrance right here in the back. By the way, even the doors, when you close it, the quality of the doors is quite premium. And you can hear also the sound. Uh, here on the doors, huge, huge doors. You have this sun protection or privacy protection here on the door. That's a great feature. You have soft material here, guys, on the door quite everywhere here you have soft material you have those handles they feel quite good uh, then you have a small speaker you have leather here in this area with red stitches leather here and soft material uh, red stitches look gorgeous and also this glossy plastic look really modern and nice here uh, the button for electric windows right here uh, the handle uh, some storage space here uh, plenty of storage space as you say in the back and then you have another speaker right here pretty useful uh, going inside here also the entrance in the car it's super simple super easy to go inside uh, I like that the easiness uh, of how they build that and they make it to go inside the car it's super easy uh, also as you can see here in the back plenty of, of space a lot a lot of space here um, the seats the same everywhere the same quality seats the same design leather with this kind of an alcantara in the middle uh, leather here uh, on the side with red stitches uh, free individual seats pretty awesome then you have the iso fix for child free child seats you can install here and i'm not if i i'm not sure if you can do that also in the front let me see that i don't think so yeah, in the front you cannot do that, uh, but keep in mind that you can uh, install three child seats right here on the second row and yeah, it's awesome. By the way, I also adjust the seats as I show you. I put it all over in the back and also the, the back part, the upper part, I put it all over on the back so you can see uh, a little bit better. This is the most comfortable position. I just imagine uh, it's nobody behind there. Another cool feature is that the transmission tunnel, it's, it's none. I mean, it's no, you have a flat floor here. You can have three person without any problem. This is a plus that I like about the car. Uh, also, you have leather behind the front seat, some storage space, and you have also this airplane mode uh, eating style. Put it back, uh, just push it back, just like that. Anyway, here in the middle, you have two vents. Quite good feeling uh, when you touch it, some storage space. Uh, you have a 12 volt port and you have a 150 watt outlet let me go inside guys uh, up here you have a handle a hook and also you have uh, some lights up here the the quality of the roof it's gorgeous to be honest also how i go inside here i feel like i'm having a little bit of taller position here on those seats so i feel a little bit like i'm in a electric car uh, but without this space here on the legs. So I don't have any space here on the legs. So that's impressive. I mean, I like that. Look at it. No space here. I like, let me close the door. But I have a taller, taller position. I feel like under the car it's an uh, electric battery or battery or something like that because I feel like I'm taller, but in the same time, it, it feels like you are in an SUV, but you are not. And look at this, look how much space you have on the head. Huge space, yes. And also I have huge space on my legs. It's impressive how much space I have here. Uh, also in the front, the seats, it's kind of in my, in my driving position. And you can make an idea 
yourself how much space I have. I have a lot of space. Also, soft material everywhere. Visibility, because you have this huge window, it's perfect. And also, on the long trips, you can go like that, all over on the back. You, you, you're feeling like you are in the bed here. Look at this, I'm almost straight away. I can stretch also my legs under the front seats a little bit. And you can sleep here, you can look on the window. For long trips, it's, it's gorgeous. I mean, the people here, your kids will love this part. Going in the middle, the same story, very easy. No transmission tunnel, uh, plenty of knee room, uh, plenty of headroom here. I can stretch my hands almost completely, look at this. It's, it's crazy. I mean, you can have three person here without any problem. And you can see, I sit on my, on my part. I staying on my on my own seats and I I'm staying really comfortable even the back part it's super comfy it's incredible good in terms of comfort I have to say I think this one is better than um, Seat Alhambra or um, Volkswagen um, Charan for example those are the competitors at least here in Europe and yeah I like it much more feels like you have much more space here inside the car gorgeous great job Ford I love the car Really, I hope you improve it in the future for, for the people that will wake up and uh, don't buy too, so many SUVs and they will go a little bit to, to this area of family practical cars. And I wait from the car manufacturer to come with an MPV electric. That will be really interesting, at least for me. Anyway, let's go guys. Let's go in the front uh, and I will show you in the front also. We will talk a little bit about the design there of the dash. The, the multimedia system, uh, the center console, steering wheel and the cockpit and also I will show you the visibility and yeah, let's go in the front. As I showed you before, you have a big window on the door from one piece, but you have to split it out somehow, uh, another part here on the, uh, on the car, on the body of the car and then windshield, I will show you the space when we go inside. Other than that, here on the upper side, you have soft material everywhere then you have this leather with red stitches leather here on the armor is the same as in the back amazing quality even here uh, this glossy glossy nice piano black here and then you have the electric uh, windows electric mirrors adjustable mirrors folding mirrors lock and unlock for child um, then you have the speaker right here on the door you have another small speaker and then you have lock and unlock and you have free position to save your seats because the car come with electric seats but you have to pay extra if you want to have it so anyway some storage space here in the in the door bands plenty of storage space i should say uh, and then at the entrance you have the sd line logo right here and then you have aluminum pedals that's great it comes with sd line uh, version then electric seats that i told you before and then we have those gorgeous seats the same as in the back same combination leather with this kind of alcantara in the middle they look super beautiful and the quality the the comfort it's awesome so you have side support uh, and you can see they are they are really really comfortable they look also nice now guys here we have the controls for the lights from here you can control the lights you can open the trunk you can open the the fog lamps and then up a little bit we have these vents also it feels good quality as you touch it soft material everywhere on the dashboard you have soft material keep this in mind um, i like that to be honest also you can adjust the steering wheel from down here the way you want it up down forward backward uh, so you have plenty of adjustments i close the door here and uh, as i said another speaker on the dash and you have some storage space here where you can put your stuff so also very very practical the visibility on the windows as i said before for me when i drive the car i didn't have any problem with this angle here so yeah i can't complain about it so visibility is quite okay but you have to try it you have to test it for yourself and see how it's for you but for me it was okay also visibility in the back you can see one more time the seats here in the middle you have a big center armrest and you have a good comfort position leather uh, some storage space here you can also put it up and then you have a light an led light and you can see i almost put all my hand down here it's a huge space to be honest to put your stuff so very practical this space glossy plastic you have those from smoking stuff and two cup holders uh, right here in the middle glossy plastic then you have electronic handbrake i love that parking sensors start stop engine button and also uh, automatic parking assist parking assist i don't know how they call it and then you have this 
center console here with the gear shifter shift by wire transmission this is the new one it's, it's gorgeous i love it it's so simple to change the gears you just have to rotate this wheel it's chrome it's look nice it's awesome before i show you that i forget to show you something guys down here behind the the center console you have a storage space where you can put your phone for example it's kind of a big space there behind uh, where you can stick your put your stuff uh, I just want to show you that before we go forward now let me show you how simple it is to change the gears you press the brake and then you rotate those like that you can see there reverse neutral drive and this S it's a sport mode and then if you go to reverse right now we are in reverse you can see even the cameras right here as I told you the car come with a camera in the front in the back sorry about the screen the car is brand new so I cannot take this out so you have to get used with this caution do not touch usually I have to pull it out but yeah it's a brand new car so I can do that anyway here you have plus and minus uh, you can change all those uh, views and also you have the front camera and then you have the back camera so you can see it from here uh, when you go in reverse now let me put it in parking mode electronic handbrake and then in the middle you have also some storage space here two usb port 112 volt port and a huge space for your phone right there and if i'm not wrong you cannot Yes, it's not wireless charging. It's just a space to put your phone. You have to charge it with your cable. Going up a little bit, you have the temperature here, physical buttons for all those temperature. Uh, yeah, this is kind of the old style. Uh, I'm curious to see if they, they come out with a new version, how it will be. Heated seats for you and a passenger. The Sony sound system here in the middle with this beautiful uh, ambient light inserted around it. It looks good. Also the button for the climatic system, climatic system. Here is the button for the cameras. By the way, look at this. Press this button, then you can see the cameras right there. And if you press it two times, once, you can see the reverse, or uh, the front camera right now. And then press it one more time, you can see also the reverse, uh, the front also, yeah. Yes, this is the front camera. And you have a wide, wide angle front camera right here and reverse camera when you go in reverse. So yeah, it's quite interesting, um, this system. Now the start engine button, it's right here on the left side, as you can see it before. And then the glow box, uh, it's pretty big to be honest, really, really uh, practical. Good soft material everywhere, some chrome design, some fake carbon effect on the on the dash. Going up a little bit, you have the multimedia system that it's kind of oldish, of course. I see the new multimedia system from Ford in the Match E. Check out on my channel, guys, the, the video with the new uh, Mustang Match E. There you can see the new multimedia system from Ford. It's awesome. I make a special video for that multimedia system. Anyway, the vents here on the side feel good, quite good quality. Uh, also the multimedia system it's quite uh, simple and uh, fast to use from here you can adjust the climatic system uh, then you have the phone you have the navigation that work quite okay to be honest once you're setting in it's working fine you have this plastic over so that way i cannot show you so well uh, then you have the mobile app then the settings here where you can go in different settings the sound settings uh, for example you can adjust different functions uh, i like the way it works pretty fast to be honest here you have the navigation and then the settings of the navigation the mobile apps here you can enable uh, and then you have the general settings on the general settings temperature language and all that uh, stuff about the multimedia system you can change it from here if you go to the navigation here as i said before uh, it works pretty good pretty fast once you set a destination for example let me set this destination look at this it's loading uh, pretty fast in, in a few seconds it's just loading and also it's show you on the cockpit guys uh, by the way it's not something super complex super complicated but for a family car um, like this one this multimedia it's more than than perfect now if i go to the cockpit a little bit here to show you also this one is not something super crazy and fancy like we have in the, in the new ford uh, mustang match e uh, we have a simple one kind of combination of analogical with uh, digital display in the middle there as you can see you have uh, kind of the the display where it show you uh, the navigation for example right now in this moment but you can have the phone uh, you can have the speed you can have the entertainment you can yeah kind of customize it it's not something crazy it's just a simple thing uh, right there in the middle other than that you can see the digital screen 
on the left side and then on the right side you have the speed and also how much gas you have so yeah even the the cockpit is not something crazy uh the visibility from the driver point of view is super good i mean you have good visibility uh, on the screen so you don't have to worry about that uh, going to the steering wheel steering wheel it's one of my favorite part again uh, the same as the seats with the red stitches beautiful uh, little little holes look gorgeous uh, in terms of, of quality you have some pedals to change the gear manual if you want to have some fun with them with the car then you have the controls for the cruise control here uh, on the left side and here you have the controls for the uh, voice command the telephone and uh, radio and stuff like that and also from here uh, on the steering wheel you can change different functions right there on the screen so yeah it's pretty nice it's pretty uh, you have a good grip i should say on it and it's easy to to control and it's it's quite quite responsive when you drive so yeah going up a little bit here guys we have a mirror big mirror good visibility in the back also some led lights up here on the roof sos button uh, then you have here kind of a space kind of a space kind of a mirror a small mirror where you can see in the back your child or whatever what happened on the third row uh, it's, it's quite nice also an extra feature and then you have this glass support I love it. I love that. It's quite practical, those features. The mirror with two normal bulb lights. Those bulb lights are really old. Um, yeah, but it's okay. Better than none. Handle, good quality on the roof overall. That was the car, guys. That was the review. I hope I didn't miss anything. If I miss something, if you have still question, just ask me i will answer to all your questions guys down below also guys i hope it was helpful i hope you get some useful information from this review with uh, the ford s max st line if you like the video please like it and share it that will mean a lot for me also don't forget to subscribe if you want to see the test drive and the future video on my channel i will leave the link in the description to the car so you can check it out uh, the technical data if you want to test it if you have questions just contact the guys from there i will leave the link also guys check out our website sdadancar.com there you find a lot of articles videos car reviews stuff like that tips on how to buy a car uh, and things like this as a conclusion as as i said before uh, i knew the car from from uh, my previous reviews and videos and I know it's a great car, it's a great, great car, great family car, one of the best, if not the best, with great quality uh, materials and a lot of practicality and also it's a beautiful car. It looks also sporty and nice and I forget to show you something, uh, for example, the windshield guys, it's uh, heated, so keep in mind, I don't know if you can see those little lines inside it. Yes, those little lines mean that this is heated, you press a button and then in the winter time the windshield will be defrosted in one minute or maybe maximum one minute. So anyway guys, I hope you enjoy it. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Uh, thank you very much to all of my subscribers, all of you that are watching my videos. I really appreciate that. Uh, stay safe and see you soon in the next one. Bye guys.